Okay, so we're going to finish off the material today and we're going to start by finishing off our discussion of IEEE 802.15.6. So let's remember uh, from our discussion last time, uh, 802.15.4 <coughs> distinguishes between so-called full function devices, or FFDs, Reduced function devices or RFDs. So the motivation there is to keep the hardware cheap. Uh, you could potentially use a few full function devices that are uh, a little more complicated and a little more expensive. large number of reduced function devices, which are presumably as simple as possible, uh, so long as you can, in, you can still include a, uh, a digital radio to simply communicate directly to the full function device. So the distinction here is that the full function device uh, can be what are called coordinated. And that basically means the network hub. So, um, we had, uh, uh, we talked about Bluetooth uh, a couple of, uh, a few classes ago, and we saw that uh, the master in the Bluetooth network was basically the, the, the hub of the network. That's something like what a coordinator is in this network. Um, so the idea is that full function devices can be coordinators, it can be the hub of this network, and RFDs, the only thing they can do is connect to full function devices. Uh, the idea is furthermore that uh, full function devices can sort of can be expected to implement higher level uh, or higher layer tasks like routing. And we'll talk a little bit about routing later today. Um, as far as topologies are concerned, two are possible or two are permitted in IEEE 802.15.4. Uh, the star topology, which is like Bluetooth, and what's called peer-to-peer, -peer, which uh, is basically a more freeform uh, type of topology. But uh, star topology uh, allows you to organize the network into clusters. Or, excuse me, it allows uh, it allows clustering and hierarchy. And in particular, what you can have is uh, you can distinguish between uh, one type of coordinator that's like a local coordinator, and you can also implement a Additional layer above that, and have a, a single global coordinator for the entire network. So here's a figure. So we can have um, uh, star topology. So the idea would be we would have a, a few full function devices, and I will uh, represent those by little laptops like this. So that's pretty much what I have in mind with a full function device. It's, a, it's basically a, a general purpose computing device. Each of these could be um, what's called a PAM coordinator, a 
personal area network board here. Connected to each of these, uh, well, these are uh, the coordinator of a personal area network within 802.15.4, so therefore they're connected to a bunch of reduced function devices. I'll just represent them by little boxes with antennas. These are all RFDs. So remember the RFDs can only connect to a full function device. They can't connect to each other. So here we have uh, a representation of three personal area networks. These could be uh, small devices, small actuators, for example. Uh, perhaps the laptop could be uh, controlling the security system in your home. And each of these devices are the, uh, are the sensors that are placed uh, on your doors and windows and whatnot to, to detect whether they're open or not. Um, a further task that can be performed by the coordinator or a full function device, excuse me, is the job of network coordinator. And that would basically link to all of the PAN coordinators. So now we have a hierarchical network. Um, we've got a lo we've got local coordinators in each PAN and a, and a, and a global network coordinator uh, coordinating all of their activities together. So this type, this type of hierarchical star topology is permitted within, uh, uh, within, this, within this protocol. So this is actually um, uh, a fairly common, fairly common style of architecture, especially in a sensor network where you imagine that uh, all of these devices are collecting data. So let's suppose this is a scientific application now. Uh, all of these devices are, let's say, weather sensors in various locations. Um, and all of that information will be digested at a central location somewhere. So this could be um, what's uh, in the literature that it's, it's often referred to as the data sink. So we, o we often have this idea that at the center of the network is, 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 is the boss, is the, uh, the um, entity that is digesting and recording all of the information. So it makes sense that at the center of the network there would be some uh, global single entity uh, that's coordinating the entire network. So. That uh, network coordinator, is it like a type of FFT? Yes, this is a, a, all of the uh, all of the laptop devices are FFTs, so these are all FFTs. So the hierarchy, I mean the uh, um, uh, it's it's quite possible, in fact, that uh, these devices uh, are all the same. They have the same capabilities. You don't necessarily need a device that's significantly more capable to be the network coordinator. And that's, in fact, the whole idea for uh, organizing things into hierarchy. So, for instance, this device is only the master of three uh, personal area networks, and each personal area network uh, connects to the network coordinator as well as just a small number of of local devices. Okay, so this is uh, this is a fairly common topology that you'll see in sensor networking, and it's explicitly supported by uh, 802.15.4. Uh, 